This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Kentucky's governor was on the ground today, getting a firsthand look at the aftermath from those devastating tornadoes. Governor Andy Bashir toured Mullenberg County this afternoon. He joined local officials to survey storm damage. The death toll in Kentucky remains at 74 tonight, which includes 12 children. The cleanup effort is intensifying. Governor Bashir is emphasizing it's going to take time. Renovation plans for the historic Lincoln Airport terminal could become a reality. The plan is to renovate the terminal into a hotel, bar, and restaurant complex. The VR group is behind the project. The group also developed Hotel Covington. Final approval from Cincinnati City Council could come tomorrow. Kroger is removing some of its COVID-19 benefits for its unvaccinated employees. If you are an unvaccinated worker, you no longer are eligible for up to two weeks of paid emergency leave if they become infected. They also have to pay $50 more for the company health plan each month. That surcharge will not apply to hourly associates or those covered by a collective bargaining agreement. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Steve. Okay, Tanya, as we look at uh, downtown Hamilton tonight, we'll show you that across the area, we're looking at temperatures mild, dropping only the low 40s in my forecast uh, overnight. But we are clouding up and will be mostly cloudy coming for tomorrow. Now, there is a chance of a few isolated showers. Most folks will just see the clouds and feel the mild conditions in the low 60s. Here's my nine day forecast. It stays mild on Thursday. I've got 60 in Cincinnati and even 50 and 52 going into the weekend. It does look like though Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll get some rain with the sunshine coming back Sunday, but temperatures cooling to about seasonal.